What's up guys, Volt here bringing you a brand new Fast and Furious bike remake, I guess. I'm bringing you the 2010 Ducati Street Fighter from Fast Five. Now you're probably wondering, where did you find this and who drives it? Well, it's someone I haven't done a video on and I thought I would kind of bring her into the light. Her name is Giselle. She was a kind of crush slash, you know, someone that Han fell in love with and she risked her life to save Han's. She didn't get the notoriety and all the, the credit that she really deserved. She was a really great person in the Fast and Furious franchise. Unfortunately, she did die off by saving Han's life. So that is very sad. And, you know, my condolences, Han. I thought I would bring into my video builds a bike. I haven't done these before. There are a few bikes throughout the franchise. The very first movie had dirt bikes. The fifth one had this bike. The sixth one had another bike of this kind, but it was the upgraded version. So, you know, I thought I would bring it out. I also think I am the very first one to actually make this video for this bike. Not a lot of people will probably recognize it or really notice it. It is shown in the movie, you know, here and there. But I think that this build here is actually pretty reminiscent to the actual one in real life. It has the two big exhausts on the right hand side. It has the big giant wind mirrors. It's got like the, you know, bar like roll cage type design on the front of the body it's so cool that i'm actually probably gonna keep this bike now performance wise not that great handling's not too terrible but you know acceleration's not that great either but overall you know for a collection this is pretty cool also another thing is it's very cheap so i thought i would actually make this for you know people that may enjoy bikes and you know may enjoy fast and furious in general so as always we go and we start with the base price so you want to go to the internet as i always say whenever you buy a Benny's vehicle do make sure you buy it from Benny's and I believe you can only buy this from Benny's so you have no other option what you want to do is you want to go down and you want to find the Principe Diablis now this is going to be the fast six bike this is going to be the fast six bike here if you guys want me to recreate that one I can and I will and this is going to be the fast five uh, Ducati Street Fighter the 2010 version so the Principe Diablis is going to be costing you $169,000 and you're probably thinking oh man that's not too much. You're right. And guess what? You don't need to upgrade it. So that's the best part about it. So after you have your bike, your color, let's go inside and customize the beauty. So as we pull in, the Principe Diablos is in the motorcycle category. As you can see here, this is a very beautiful bike. And you're probably wondering, why are we at the arena? Well, there's only 13 customization options. And like I said, you know, to start things off, we're going to go with the lights. So we're going to go to the headlights. You want to put on the white lights. It did have a nice bright white light. If you can't afford it, I would definitely go with stock. But if you can't afford it, go with the white light. Again, you're probably going to be spending the most amount of money on probably just the light in general and the bike. That's it. There's not, there's really not much customization personally. All right, and I'll see you guys in two seconds back over to LSC. All right, now that we're back at the LSC, I do recommend you guys do customize this first at your LSC and then possibly go over to your arena. Just be careful when you're at your arena because you can't upgrade this automatically. So, you know, by accident, by chance. So be careful. You, I main reason I say to customize it at the LSC for the most part is because then you can't have the option to upgrade it and ruin the build. So like I said, if you can't afford the white light option from the arena, just keep the stock version. It's still the best option, personally. It didn't have xenons, it just had nice white lights or, you know, stock lights for the most part. After that, move on to the plate. You want to put on the blue and white 3, and you want to put on the custom plate that reads 4KRM904. Again, that's 4KRM904. Now, the plate I chose, blue and white 3, is because the plate is pretty much all white. Sad thing is, it is, you know, I think it's four of the letters on top and then the 904 on the bottom it's like kind of double deckered type deal on the plate and sadly we can't get that in the game but we can still at least put the plate on there so people know what it is although most people i mean unless they're really big fans of the bike and they know what the plate is on in the movie and everything people might not even know what it is but me personally i don't make custom plates anyways because why not right if i'm building the actual bike i want to have the actual plate on it same respray for last, we move on to the wheels. You want to go to wheel type, you want to go to the front wheel, you want to go to the stock rims, and you want to put on these Speedway rims. These, I think, fit the best. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how do you know what rims were on the bike? It wasn't really shown too much in the movie. You didn't really see too much of the, the wheels or anything. You're right, I don't. 
So I kind of looked up a 2010 Ducati Street Fighter, and these are the kind of rims that are on the Ducati Street Fighter. So personally, I think the speed uh, Speedway rims are the best option. And then if you go back, you go to the rear wheel, you go to the stock rims, you want to put on these street special rims. These are different rims than the front ones, and they're kind of like a Y shape, and these are more like just the straight on kind of like railroad shape, I guess you could say. It, if you, you understand what I mean. It's a bit more Y shape in the back and a bit more straight end on the front. And I think they fit the best, personally. And again, I am going over a you know 2010 Ducati Street Fighter build. I'm not, you know, basing it on anything else other than a real Ducati Street Fighter. Maybe they changed the rims in the movie. I'm not sure. But personally, if you're just trying to build a Ducati Street Fighter, you know, basic design, these are the type of rims I would choose. So the Speedway for the front and the Street Special for the back. After that, I move on to the wheel color. You just want to keep them black. They were nice and black anyways. Again, most of the Ducati Street Fighter rims are black. Most vehicles, bikes included, look really good with black rims, by the way. Tires, there's no custom tires. Don't worry about that. Tire enhancements, you can add bulletproof tires on if you wish. More realistic if you don't. And tire smoke, white tire smoke. All right, and I'll see you guys in two seconds with a rolled steel primer color. All right, and we're back. As you can see, I have my bike in my primer out rolled steel. Pretty much what I always do for all my builds, whether it's a bike, car, truck, whatever. And this is to show you that, you know, it's an LSC color or a crew color. That way I don't screw you over and say, you know, oh, it's an LSC color, but in you know retrospect, it could be a crew color that you need to either join the crew to get or ask me or, you know, even get the hex code and figure out what it is. Or maybe I'm, I wouldn't tell you, but you know, I'm not like that. I do tell you guys every single color I use. I put the hex code and the RGB down in the description below as well for those that can't get the hex code to work or don't know how to do it. And yeah, so this is a pretty easy and simple bike to make. All you do is go to primary color, you go down to metallic, and you just want to put on the metallic black. Now, this is pretty black. You want to add a little bit of contrast and a little bit of you know definition to the bike. I would definitely add a pearlescent. So you go down to pearlescence and you want to go up to the rolled steel. This will kind of give it a little bit like a lighter black or like a darker gray and you kind of see it shine through a little bit it just gives it more definition and more design to the actual bike it still is black but it still has that little bit of shine that is like a darker gray slash you know like a lighter black if that makes any sense at all and that is it that is how you recreate the 2010 ducati street fighter from fast five that giselle drives to you know meet up with the guys and to chase after someone and like i said it's not in the movie that much i haven't seen the movie for a while but i do know that this bike is in there and i still feel like i am the very first one to actually build this bike i know it's not really a fancy bike you know it's it is in the movie i know people have built the fast six bike or the fast and furious six bike or whatever it is the other ducati but this one personally i think you know fits a little bit better of a design and plus i wanted to be one of the very first ones to create this so let's head outside it's a little bit sunny out yet so yeah like i said performance wise not that great but overall it is still a great looking bike if you look at the color it still is black it's just got a bit, bit of like darkish gray slash like, you know like a darker like a lighter black i should say it just gives more, I don't know, definition and shade to the kind of bike. And again, it's it's not expensive at all. Like I would say max price of this thing with performance and all, I would even say like four hundred thousand or less. I would say maybe even three hundred thousand or less, depending on you know if you have any discounts or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think about the build down in the comments section down below. If I did good, if I did bad, if I may be the very first one, who knows? I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up the build slash video. So as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section for what build you want me to do next. You know, if you could put request and then, you know, put the actual request, that'd be great. Easier to find and, you know, easier for me to possibly decide or, you know, figure out to build your builds that you want me to build. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.